Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about interviews. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do I ace my software test in testing engineering interview? My, my software test for my software engineering test interview on Monday. My interview is on Monday. Oh, okay. Well, uh, at this point, the only thing you can do is well, um, it's yeah, that's tomorrow. So uh, the only thing you can do is uh, just relax. That's about it, really, because all the factors that make up whether or not you're gonna comp like be able to get through that test or that interview is you should have al you should already be there now. So let me explain a few things to you as to what matters when you do an interview, and this is uh, take notes now because this is I think gonna be fairly complete. I hope. Let's see if I can cover it all in a few minutes. So first and foremost, what you have to understand is that as a, I'm assuming now, junior software developer, there are a few key things that practically every single software company is going to look for. It's not going to be hardcore, like super advanced skills or experience or knowledge or anything like that. What they're going to care about is number one, can you pass the basic simple code test or quote unquote simple from their perspective simple code test that they're going to give you can or at the very least even if they because some of them have this other way of doing it where they give you a really hard problem and then they just sort of want to see how well you do under pressure but they're going to give you a test of some sort number two they're going to look at um, how expressive are you how communicative are you are you the sort of person that seems to have like an easy time talking or being able to uh, hold a conversation with your coworkers third and lastly and probably most importantly are you the sort of person who are who's spending your time doing coding stuff and here is here quality matters more than anything else guys you have no idea how many hundreds at this point junior software developers I have interviewed I interviewed junior software developers all the way up to senior level software developer as part of my job uh, I've done so uh, for quite some time now and uh, in a few in uh, two in a few different companies and now it's even more in my current role uh, and the one thing i can give you that will truly always impress and when you don't do this you are standing on two legs when you should have three and that is that you do not invest in passion projects or you don't have a genuine interest in like building or making things or stuff like that all you're really doing is that you're sort of taking a Udemy course you're sort of reading about stuff you said so, guys I am a professional software developer well I'd like to call myself that at the very least I'm something of a software developer because uh, I've done this for a while now and I can hear a bullshit answer from someone who's just taking courses and not actually spending any time doing any real coding. I can hear that when someone says that, oh, I integrated my my SBA application towards this uh, Google service, that what you did was that you you subscribed to a third, like a, a simple little API, pulled some data and put that on a page. That's it. That's all you've done. And to a software company that might be good enough but the thing that is actually important the thing that they really want is to see the fire in your eyes to see that you really care about you know, about learning things about software and software development and that's when you one part needs to be you need to be able to do the coding which is 
as I mean if you have your coding test on Monday there's no way you're gonna learn or like if you're gonna be good enough or you're not gonna be good enough that it's that simple if you have like a day to prepare it takes a long time to get good enough at coding it's the why I think it's ridiculous how people have this idea that oh, I'm just gonna study really really hard for my Google exam or whatever you're doing right uh, because uh, you can absolutely do that sort of thing but the thing then I keep on telling people if you by some miracle manage to temporarily increase your skill level so much by just studying the right things that you manage to get through that interview you're gonna get fired the second day when you start working because you can't actually do the job that's why practice actual or hands-on practice doing actual coding building real things is so important and then the social aspect, I mean, you're, that's the thing I suggest that you work on at the moment because that's something, you know, you try to just relax, look at this as an opportunity for you to sort of figure out, to get some, you just look at it as practice. Think of it sort of, you know, it's sort of like that mental trick some people give you, you know, when you're on stage, try to imagine the, in the audience being naked. Now, I'm not saying that you should imagine the interviewer being naked, that's probably a crime in some, in some places, but uh, I'm saying that you have to l mentally distance yourself from the overwhelming anxiety you might feel. It is very difficult to do so. But it is very important for you to be able to communicate in a semi-relaxed manner. It's never going to be completely relaxed, but there's going to it, it will help. I'm just saying it's like when the doctor tells you, you know, relax, and then they poke you with a needle that is like a meter long or something like that. Yeah, it's difficult, but it is the best advice that they can give you at that moment, and it's good advice. And so what I'm saying is that the last part is the same thing like these passion projects this is why I tell people you have to invest in actual passion actual caring about the thing you do because it does matter it matters more than you can possibly imagine when you sit in an interview with senior software developers who have been doing this for 10 years and some of them are freakishly freakishly specific about what they're looking for in their candidates we're talking like guys i have co-workers and i have ex-co-workers and so forth who do these interviews with me who will like literally expect you to know things that i mean it is it is insane sometimes and then you have people like myself who are like the voice of reason trying to be at the very least stating that you know what you it's sort of weird that you expect us you and your software developer to know all of these things but the thing that I can always bring it back to that's why you have to help me and people like me is that well they did pass the test it might not have been perfect but they did manage to get through this thing they seem to be a nice person and you know what they're actually doing a lot of extra stuff in their spare time. They have an int interest in, like, they're making serious, trying to make serious applications themselves. They're trying to build apps, or they're trying to make games, or they're trying to do something, something that proves that I can tell my, so I can tell my coworker, hey, you know what, this person is fairly passionate about this thing and should probably be fairly easy to put in a team and train to the skill level that you sort of would like. Let's give them a chance. That, my friend, is what is important. So what I want you to take away from this is that if your test is tomorrow, uh, the only thing you can do is to pray and hope that you've done the other two things I've talked about. Make sure, number one, that you actually practice your coding skills so that you have strong understanding, a strong understanding of how to write software, especially under pressure, because depending on if they're going like, to ask you to do some live coding or something, uh, you're going to have to do it in front of people. And the other part is uh, have passion projects. Prove definitively that you spend time doing software development because in a, a, the reality is guys that this is not like any other job usually the thing that the people who get hired as software developers are much much closer to musicians or or football players or something like that like where well, these are people who are programming because they like to program and build things this is the these are the people that most companies invest in at the junior level well there are exceptions absolutely but it is a very strong leg to stand on and then the thing that you can affect at this point is to try to relax try to understand that this is 
going to either be a very unpleasant experience or it's going to be a decent experience. And these three things together, having the coding skills, the social skills and the passion, these are the things that matter to every single company. It's Google, Facebook, uh, all of them. Every single company has the same requirements and it's the only thing a junior software developer should try to get uh, on like as part of you know their strategy for getting a job in IT. Everything else is secondary. Have a great day.